hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here from what we have here we factor 4 raised to power x out at this here we have 4 raised to power x into brackets 1 plus 1 plus 1 left here then equals to 40 on this side the next step this is the same thing as 4 raised to power x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 that's 3 equals to 40 from here the next step here we divide both side by 3 that is divide this side by 3 also divide this side by 3 here 3 cancelled each other we have 4 raised to power x left equals to 40 over 3 here the next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 4 raised to power x equals to log 40 over 3 here. The next step here, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 4 equals to log 40 over 3. The next step here, this follows when we have log a over b, which is the same thing as log a minus log b. That is, here we have x log 4 equals to log 40 minus log 3. Then, next step here, we divide both sides by log 4. That is, divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4. Which implies here log 4 cancelled each other. We have x now equals to log 40 minus log 3 over log 4. The next step here we separate this into two fractions. As you have becomes x equals to log 40 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. If you are joining us for the first time, this is Master T Math Class, where we solve math every day. And you are in the right place as far as mathematics is concerned. So do it to subscribe in order to be easily seeing our videos. And thank you for subscribing. Also watch to the end. Now, next step here, we can break this down and we can express 40 as 4 times 10. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 4 times 10 then over log 4 and minus log 3 over log 4. The next step here, what we have here follows, when we have log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, yeah, this becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 10 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then also from here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 10 over log 4 minus log 3 
over log 4. That is, from here, we have log 4 cancel each other. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then, next step here, also 10 can be written as 2 times 5. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then also here we apply the law of logarithm and this becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then from here also we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then from here, 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. Then what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 squared plus log 5 over log 2 squared minus log 3 over log 2 squared. Then next step, we apply the power of log n. That is 2 comes there, also here, then from here, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 2 log 2 plus log 5 over 2 log 2 minus log 3 over 2 log 2. Then from here we have log 2 cancelled each other. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 then plus here we have 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2 then minus also 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2 then next step here 1 plus 1 over 2 and we're written as 1 number 1 over 2 with the same thing as 3 over 2 just before we continue let me ask for a favor from you just a subscription a like, a share, and a comment, which is actually free. And thank you for your support. Now, here, what we have become x equals to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 over log 2 minus 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2. Then here we apply the change of base. And when we have log A over log B, this same thing as log A to base B. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 minus 1 over 2 log. 3 base 2. And also here we can bring this together as one fraction. And we have x equals to the SCM here. That's 2. And here we have 3 plus log 5 base 2. Then minus log 3 base 2. That is the value of x here. We have 3 plus log 5 base 2. 
I know scroll three goes to all the words. So then let's check here if this satisfies this even problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Then what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 plus also 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 then also plus 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 40 on this side okay yeah we had same thing together three times just like when we have a plus a plus a the same thing as 3a that is what we have becomes 3 times 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 this is equals to 40 on this side and from here we can write 4 as 2 square that is we have 3 times 2 square which is raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 40 on this side and this power multiplies 2 here cancel each other then what we have becomes 3 times 2 raised to the power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2. Then is it equals to 40 on this side? Then here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power m plus n, the same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. And also, a raised to the power m minus n, same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. Then this here we combine together and we separate. We have 3 times 2 raised to the power 3 times 2 raised to the power log 5 raised to, then divided by 2 raised to the power log 3 raised to. Is it equals to 40? On this side, then this becomes 3 times 2 raised to the power 3, that's 8. Then times here follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equal to b. That is, here we have 5. Then over here, we have 3. Is it equal to 40 on this side? Then here. These three cancel each other. We are left with 8 times 5. Is it equals to 40 on this side? Of course, 8 times 5 gives us 40, which is equals to 40 from here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2 satisfy this given problem and don't forget the steps thank you for watching for always connecting to this channel and uh, also subscribe for easy access to more of our videos and it's totally free so click on the subscription bell and also share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment and see you next class bye for now